Okay, we've arrived in the Capilano Regional Park, and there's uh, Brian and Joan off in the distance. And this reservoir that we're heading towards is called the Capilano Watershed, and it's one of the sources of fresh water for the lower mainland. Let's we'll pull back here. Those mountains uh, that you see off in the distance, uh, and just coming into view now, I'll zoom in, are the uh, gondola towers. So there's a uh, gondola that uh, goes up uh, to the top of this mountain, which is called Grouse Mountain. Unfortunately, we can't see the top of it today. Um, and a lot of tourists um, go up there. There's a nice restaurant up there. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a, uh, a peaceful, attractive place. And uh, there's not a soul uh, that lives in this uh, vast forested area. Okay, Lisa's just taking a picture of Brian and Joan with the Capilano Reservoir in the background. And what happens, of course, in the springtime is that all the snow that's on the uh, mountains, the, uh, you want to, <laughs> you want, you want to say hi to everybody in, uh, in Cyprus? <laughs> the, um, there's a tremendous amount of snowpack that melts and flows into the reservoir. And what we'll see in a minute is they have to release water from the reservoir through the dam and it goes downstream out towards the ocean. And the water in the reservoir is perfectly still today. Beautiful. See the gondolas? Just uh, so taking where, some video where is this? Oh. of the, uh, the gondolas. Uh, yeah, there's one that's come down. I'll just pan, uh, zoom back here. You can see one just about to go into the cloud and uh, one just coming down. Okay, so here we are on the uh, middle of the dam. This is called the Cleveland Dam. Just to orient you geographically, uh, there is the gondolas uh, in the far distance and the reservoir. There's Lisa. Say hi, Lisa. <laughs> Camera shy. Just panning back. And this is called the Capilano Canyon. And it gives you an idea. The water, the amount of water that comes out of this reservoir and flows down the Capilano River out to Burrard Inlet. So here we are at the Capilano uh, River facility. Now this is, as I was explaining to Joan and Brian, uh, this is a Canadian government facility that's used uh, for research in terms of salmon um, and how the uh, environmental, um, uh, how they're affected by a changing environment. Okay, this is inside the salmon fish hatchery or salmon hatchery and the uh, these are just some of the displays of the different type of salmon that we have here in British Columbia. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a multi-million dollar industry here in British Columbia so they do have to uh, monitor what's happening to the salmon. Uh, global warming is affecting them. Um, because the temperature of the waterways is uh, slowly increasing. Um, also forestry and mining, oil and gas. Um, yeah, they have to just keep an eye on, uh, on the health of the salmon in British Columbia. On the rock in the center of the river is a heron. Yeah, it's a large bird, actually might fly away. We'll get an idea of how big its wingspan is. Okay.
So this is looking upriver towards, uh, you can see the mist off in the distance and around the corner is where the water from the dam uh, comes down to this level. So you're just looking at the water flow coming over the edge of the, uh, this is the, obviously the man-made structure part of the Capilano uh, River and uh, again that's looking upstream towards the base of the dam which is around the corner. So these are the uh, salmon, uh, juvenile salmon raising tanks and they also do research here and uh, yeah so just gonna pan down the river in the springtime, there is so much water from the melted snow that uh, the river is considerably deeper and downstream you actually get, you get kayakers uh, to uh, take, on the, uh, take on the white water. And a couple died actually here, a couple of kayakers died a few years ago. Um, it was so, the river was so powerful. So we've come down in the uh, part of the fish hatchery uh, that is uh, known as the salmon ladder. And there it is down there. The, uh, it's a multi-level uh, ladder of water, if you will, that the salmon swim against the stream. Oh, there's some down there. And then there's salmon in the uh, tank area behind the glass. So we got a, uh, a few salmon in the bottom there. So they'll, uh, they'll swim up one level of the ladder and then uh, rest. They'll take a break and just uh, gather their strength, their energy, before swimming up to the next level. Because they have to swim against the, uh, the flow, which as you can see is quite strong. Oh, yeah, the one just, uh, just dashed up. So they take a run at it swim quite quickly and uh, propel themselves out of the river and then up into uh, the next level. Some of the salmon taking a break. Just another view a bit uh, further down river and you can, looks like our uh, heron friend is Move to another rock. So we just uh, we came into the uh, the forest. This gives you an idea. And because this is the Pacific Northwest and we get a lot of precipitation, as I was explaining to Joan and Brian, we get a lot of these uh, ferns and also a lot of moss on trees. Yeah, and the, uh, you can see somebody just fishing downstream there. So there have been a few salmon at uh, this time of year. Come up stream. I can hear. Elise has just pointed out some salmon berries, which are these uh, bright orange berries on the uh, on the tree here.
They, um, so we've picked a few and uh, eaten them. 